Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are talking about relational operations. And a quick disclaimer, if you are here to figure out what relational operations are as they pertain to computer science, I have no idea. So I would look elsewhere. We are talking about relational operations in mathematics. Perhaps you'll still find this helpful if you're a computer science guy, but I don't know if you will because I don't know what you are looking for in particular. But I know this has some presence in computer science and I know that I don't know what it is, so I can't tell you about that. In any event, relational operations. A relational operation, as you might expect, relates one quantity to another. So one of the most common ones that perhaps you've seen is equals a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And here, equals is telling us, and of course, if we know what these letters stand for in context of the Pythagorean theorem, it's telling us that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. This is a relation, the equals sign, that says these two quantities are the same. Of course, 3 is equal to 3. Now, another relational operation is less than. And this less than sign can be used to say that one quantity is less than another. One, of course, is less than two. You can see the small acute sort of point end is on the small side and the larger open end is on the big side. Now you can just flip this sign around to get a statement like four is greater than three. And of course, this sign can tell you the same information if you were to write it as three is less than four. And the greater than sign, just like the less than sign, is used to denote one quantity being greater than another. So four is greater than three, three is less than four. Another example would be um, six is greater than negative 10. Again, you see the wide open side always points to the larger number, and the small point always points to the smaller number. And then there are just two other relational operations we're going to mention, that is less than or equals, which is the less than sign with half an equals sign under it. Now, with the original less than sign, in order for this statement to be true, this quantity has to be less than this quantity. But with less than or equals, the two quantities can be the same, and it is still true. So 3 is less than or equal to 3, so that statement is true because 3 equals 3. And similarly, 2 is less than or equal to 3 because 2 is less than 3. So as long as you satisfy the less than or equals, hence the name less than or equal to. And then the other one, as you might be able to guess, is greater than or equal to, which is a greater than sign with half an equal sign under it. Similarly, just like before, the two quantities can now be equal, unlike the original greater than sign, where the quantity on the left had to be greater than the one on the right. We could write 4 is greater than or equal to 4, and this is a true statement because 4 is equal to 4. And we could also write 2 is greater than or equal to 1 because 2 is greater than 1. So this allows for either one to be true. The statement is still true as long as the left quantity is greater than the one on the right or if the left quantity is equal to the quantity on the right. Now, if you've done some algebra, you know that balancing equations is a very important part of doing algebra. However, when you are trying to keep equations balanced with inequalities, you've got sort of more freedom to work with, and it gets kind of interesting, and it's pretty cool, but I'll save that for another time. In any event, these are the five main relational operations. Equals, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. There are more relations like these in mathematics, but these are the basic ones that I will leave you with. So I hope this video helped you understand what some of the basic relational operations are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases all